Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ranis R226. We're back again with another video for you guys, and I wanted to talk about um, the school board game that I found, or miniatures game that I found, in my dad's garage. And I wanted to talk about it. So, this is Battletech. It is a mech game, a mech board game. And these are some of the little mechs that come with it. Now, the reason I really wanted to find this and actually look at it is if it's not uh, apparent enough, I have my Robotech stuff out. I got my VF1J Veritech and my Trainer Veritech in its fighter mode. And the reason I bring this up is because Battletech straight up copied Robotech. Like, honestly, it's, all, it's basically one to one. And I want to say, this is my dad's original game. It's not another one that we've bought. It is the original one he bought. Um, just a little bit of history of Battletech. It was originally called Battle Droids. And then George Lucas took it, uh, took them to the court, and then they renamed it to Battletech. And then Harmony Gold went after them and sued them because pretty much all the little adventures are different Veritech, and uh, different uh, Robotech, um, Mecha. And, um, yeah, that box is now kind of rare and highly collectible, and I have it, and I am, have no plan on selling it. Although, this is really, really cool. And, um, it's about, I want to say it's worth point, I think it's like maybe $100. But I don't, I don't think $100 is worth it, because this is super cool, man. It's like, little, like, almost Robotech. <laughs> I think that's why I'm going to hold on to it. So I want to go over the box of Battletech. So on the front we have a tomahawk from Robotech. And um, the reason I can easily say that is, so this is um, Robotech RPG Tactics. I've never, uh, just a FYI, I've never played either one of these games. And this game actually comes with some little miniatures that I actually have and forgot to break out. All right, I went and I grabbed them. So this little guy is the same one that's pretty much there. And this is a tomahawk. Let's see if I can get my focus. There we go, that's much better. So, and this is an actual licensed Robotech uh, miniature, and it is called a tomahawk. And also, on uh, this artwork... Oh man, this box is huge! Ugh. We have a, another tomahawk. And if we look right over here, it is a copy. A blatant copy. And we say, oh, that, that's just one example. Okay, then we will take you. So, as we can see here, some Veritex. This is a, this is Roy Fulker's Veritech. This is Reconner's. As I said earlier, it's the VF1J. Keep these things in mind, too. We turn over to the back. That is upside down. Hmm. That looks like a Veritech. And what does that look like? That looks like that red mech from the Robotech game. Huh. A blatant copy. And if it wasn't obvious enough, they copied... Yep. Going from left to right, we have a standard Veritech. We have a Super Veritech. Armored Veritech. Tomahawk. Spartan. I don't remember what that one's called. There it has it's called a rifleman and something like that. And you have the Zentradi leader boss Zentradi battle pod. Bam. So clearly the artwork was blatantly stolen from Robotech. And you could say, well that's just the box art. Box art can be misleading. Okay, okay. So let's see. So we got my little army of unpainted robots from Verit from Robotech, and my officer battle pod just fell over. So that right there um, is a recon battle battle suit battle pod, and that is a normal Zentradi battle pod. And then you got some Veritex, and then you got some, and then you got the other RDF Robotech Mecha, and these are all from Battletech. <clears throat> so, hmm, what does that look like? Let's bring in. So those three are the closest I found to the um, battle pod, and um, yeah, that's pretty close. 
and here they call it the Marauder. I mean, one to one, man. <laughs> Even though my little model's missing a leg. And then, oh, look at that. That's a straight up Veritech. That's a, another straight up Veritech. That's the armored Veritech, and that is Roy Fulker's Veritech. Straight up copied. And then we have the two. That one. And that one. Straight up copied. Now, over here, we have two other mecha that I thought was really close to Robotech vehicle. Uh, Robotech Mecha. That one not so much. Um, I looked at the feet and the feet are very Robotech-esque in my opinion. And uh, yeah. This I almost didn't include but then I looked at this. The Phoenix. The Phoenix is it called as the leg is falling apart. <laughs> and yeah that's that's pretty close. Even down to the I know it's hard to see but down to the antenna like over here you got two little ones and there you got two little ones and then you kinda got the feet going I mean oh wait that's the Spartan yeah that's straight up the Spartan oh down to the feet <laughs> that's that oh man yeah the only difference is my Spartan has a gun which usually they don't come with guns so in conclusion Battletech straight up copied Robotech and it's art design, which kind of pisses me off. But at the same time, it's like, it's actually kind of cool, because it's like an ancient relic from a lost time, and I love Robotech, and it's cool to have these little miniatures. And I mean, like, they're kind of interesting, because they're not, like, um, models like these guys. These are, um, if my camera can focus, here we go, is a piece of cardstock, and yeah, that's all it is. Which kind of limits creativity with these little guys you can pay them whatever you want here they're already pre printed and I mean kind of lame but I mean I think they're kind of neat little nice pieces of artwork with the front and the back what you need and um yeah and I mean it's cool to have more Robotech merchandise because I am not from Japan <laughs> I do not have easy access to Japan, and I don't have $500 to drop on a 100, like, giant Veritech model, and I really want to, so it's kind of nice having these little guys. And I kind of wish I knew about this. I would have probably incorporated some of them into Gaming vs. Evil, but, uh, yeah. So, Battletech, sure you copied Robotech, but I'm kind of okay with it, because it's cool to have more Robotech stuff. So, um, uh, yeah, this is Ranisar T264. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Peace out.